So the downside to having a window is how dirty it gets. But uh, it's all part of it, I guess. Fish are still happy. Still on the temporary filter. Let's have a look in the shed now and we'll see what uh, progress I've made. What a mess. So, slight change in plans with the uh, RDF. I am putting the pump on the side of the stand that I made. I was originally going to put it underneath, um, but I thought I'd attach it on the side, and just keep it off the ground, um, and yeah, I then got space under there, just for basic storage really, I guess. So that's going to sit on the side. It does mean I need to space the drum a little bit further away from the uh, bio tank, but only by, well, fractions. So that's okay. Still a little bit of pipe work to finish off, but the main gist of it is there. Um, high pressure pipe will feed up to the uh, the rail with all the spray nozzles, and then just the low pressure will just feed the pump in the front here, and there's all downhill all the way around these bends, so shouldn't trap any air. Right, so that's ongoing. The other thing I've done is I've put in an airline um into the bio chamber now whether i run these pipes the whole time you see down there i've just got some pipe work and i've got a picture and what i've done is just sliced through the pipe just to allow air to pass it through um, and that's on the bottom of the tank then when all the bio media go down here i've got two choices I can either have them on all the time and keep all the uh, biomaterial aerated for a good oxygen and things like that. Or I can just use it for when, it when it's time for any cleaning out, I can run the air on it and it help well, basically helps clean it out when I drain out the tank. Um, I have put in some valves on the air um, and the one that runs around the back to this side this will need redoing, but I've got stuff in the way. So when this is all out of the way, I need to remake some of this pipe work. But it also gives me air to this side of this wall for any future plans. Um, and yeah, just a basic pipe in this side. Again, just to allow air in the bottom. So I've been doing something, but it's, uh, it's just taken a lot longer than expected. Um, just the weather and just time really through work and things like that so yeah that's where it is at the minute I'm going to crack on now and just try and finish up all this pipe work and all that stuff get the drum in its final position and then I can look at the next uh, next step of where to go so you joined me some weeks on now I've got the drum in all piped up um, and holes drawed through. It's a bit dark in here. I'm obviously going to need some lights now we're getting into uh, towards the winter. Now, what I've done is I've just, for now, capped off the drum on this side. Here will be inlets. Um, so I've just capped them off for the time being so I can water test these two boxes. And then with the pump, as you can see, just sat tucked away down there, I'll be able to test the high pressure pipe as well. I still need to put the electronics in to be able to test it, um, but it will test this tub, obviously my connections, the low pressure side to the that feeds the pump. I can check all of that. Um, it's good and watertight. So yeah, join me shortly when this is filled up and we can see how it's gone. And while it is filling up, I'll just show you, that's my idea I have um, for the drain off from the drum. So then I'll just put a 90 on here into a two inch with an adapter. And that again will run down into the drain with some fittings. This isn't secured yet, this is all just moving. Um, and it attaches onto the main drain as well. So that's my plans for that. And uh, yeah. I'll set the timer and let's uh, get this filled up. Right, so it might be a bit dark, but hopefully we can uh, see roughly what's going on here. 
Now I have got this set now at the working height. Uh, you can see the water in there. At the working height of the pond, uh, which is according to the, the instructions, 170 mil down from the top. So that's filled up. As you can see, the tubs are all full up as well, or the big tub. Now I'm not getting any leaks down in and around. Apologies for the light, but you just have to trust me. Um, and again, around all the pump pipe work and the joins is all completely bone dry. So what I'm going to do, I think, is leave it overnight, come back tomorrow, um, and then hopefully we'll see whether or not we've got any leaks. So uh, it's been more like a week now since I filled these tubs up. As you can see, they're still full, no leaks on the ground anywhere. Uh, that's all fine. Um, drum filter, everything, yeah, all good from the water leak side of it. Now I have started to um, put the wires in for the control unit to this drum filter. Um, I've st I need to change a plug because one of the uh, plugs comes with like a European style plug on there. So, and I'll need to address the whole wire in mess, but I basically want to get that high pressure pump working and make sure like well, this pipe work is good. And with that ticked off, I know that this section of the filter is good to go, um, ready for when I get the skimmer in there. So box is now all in, all wired in, it's plugged in. Um, I've got the pump all done and wired in. The wiring will be sorted out when it's like a final um, sort out. I just want to make sure that this whole system is going to work before uh, I actually put it on the pond. Because the last thing I want to do is turn off the pond, find out this doesn't work, and then I'm absolutely buggered. So, let's turn this on and see what happens to the drum. So, click on the switch. No fires or anything yet, so that's uh, that's okay. Now this should be a manual cleaning. So let's see if this actually works when I when I press this little button. And well, yes, it does. As you can see, it throws it right out the side there as well. So that's a bit messy. Let's see if I'm going to adjust. Well, I'll, I'll sort out with the adjustment later. But it does all work. That's the mess there. Now, all of these pipes down here, I will go over and double check they all are all dry. And if that's the case, that is good. I've got a mess down there. Right, okay, so I'm happy with that, that's good. Now, like I say, there's a few things I need to adjust, um, but I'm happy that it's all gonna work when it goes in for the final time. So that's the drum in and working. Um, I did tidy up the wire in here, as you can see. Um, I was tempted to completely cut down the wire in and put new plugs on lower down, um, but I decided to leave the full length of wire just in case I need anything, but it's sort of secured um, out of the way. Nothing sort of hanging on the floor or anything like that. Would have been nice to have this around the other side, but... Uh, is what it is, I guess. Um, another modification that I made is to the bio box. I just raised up this uh, central or this reservation here, so it will be above the water height. Um, it's not fully sealed, and the reason, and it is on an angle. It's not just uh, the way you're looking at it, but that's just to allow a larger gap in here to be able to get pumps and things in and out of this section a bit easier. So yeah, that is. Um, the drum side of it tested and working. So the next job is gonna be this skimmer. Um, now I do need to modify the 
skimmer box that I made um, to add in like a weir and holes and things like that. So uh, I think I'm probably going to leave that for a video on its own. So if you want to see me get on and modify this thing, then um, yeah, join me next time.